Hey, uh, this is Janimation's uh, Team Fortress 2 mapping tutorial, uh, part 1. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some simple doors. Um, to start, you're going to want to click on the Entity tool. Once you have a wall you want to make a door in, and click outside the wall somewhere near the wall. And if you look here, on the one of the 2D views, you'll see your little uh, person here. And to make the door, you click on this uh, block tool, and you go to the 2D view, and you make a box around that little uh, entity, so that it's taller than the entity is tall and wider than it is. So basically a person would be able to fit through your door and um, and then go ahead and hit enter and it'll make a block and slide this block inside the wall that you want to uh, put the door in and if you go up and look at it you see that uh, the textures are clashing with each other because you just put a block inside of a block. So in order to clear the space where the door is going to be, you make sure you have the door highlighted and you hit Control shift c and it carves a section out in the shape of the door. See, if I move the door, it just made that hollow so you can go through it. And so, yeah, now when the door moves out of the way, the person will be able to actually walk through the doorway. And then, you're, while the door is selected, hit Control t and it'll turn the block into an entity. And make sure the class of the entity is a funk underscore door. Once you have that done. Uh, under the properties, you there are two things you want to set. The speed. The default for the speed is 100 units per second, which is really slow. I believe that uh, regular doors in Team Fortress 2 move at about 700 units per second. So you might want to change it to something a little bit higher if you want it to be realistic, but you can play around with it if you want. And then the next one you want to change is the move direction. And it's going to have a circle with a line in it. Don't touch that. You don't really need that unless you have a door that's going to slide back and forth. But this door is just going to slide up into the ceiling. So you go to this down arrow and hit up. And you hit apply. And that basically makes a door so when the guy walks into the door, then the d if when he touches the door, it'll shoot up into the ceiling, and he'll be able to pass through. Okay, um, if you want to make a door that slides side to side, not up or down, uh, you go to this circle thing, and let's say looking down, you want to make the door slide to this side, over here, from where it is right here. You point the line inside this circle in that direction. In this case, it's zero degrees, is that direction. If you wanted it to move this way, you'd make it 180 degrees by clicking and dragging. Sometimes it'll be like 181. You can change that. And, uh, yeah, so it'll move basically straight that way. And uh, if, yeah, that'll just make a door that slides sideways. Uh, if you want to make a door that rotates, which they're not that common in TF2, but if you want to make it for something else, uh, you have to look down on top of the door. And there's this little circle thing in the middle of the door. And you have to drag that 
to the corner of the door that you want the door to pivot on. So this door is going to open like this or like this since it's pivoting right here. So you go to the entity and it, you make it a func underscore door underscore rotating like it says. And then yeah, put the speed, you might want the speed a little bit slower because you don't want the door to slam open. So maybe something like 100 or 75 or something, something kind of slow. And if, uh, if once it opens you don't want it to close again, you want to go to the delay before reset and make it a negative 1 and it will make it to the door stays open once it has been touched. And the distance just means how many degrees you want it to rotate in the direction that, that it's pushed. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about doors. Tune in next time.